Well, hello, my name is Ryan. Uh, I am unboxing a Pake Materials Handling Hydraulic Furniture Dolly. Um, if I'm honest, I don't believe this is actually hydraulic. Uh, I think this is a crank setup, but I thought I would show you anyway uh, what, what I got. Found this on eBay. I'm gonna use it for moving vending machines, possibly some uh, gun safes and uh, other kind of furniture, but you can see the, the box got pretty beat up, uh, move it over. So we're gonna make sure all the parts are there, make sure that everything's okay uh, for usage for us. So my primary intent is to be able to use this with moving vending machines, both soda and snack machines. Um, I'm used to using a, uh, a larger dolly that's um, got wheels that kick out on the back, but if you have a 79 inch machine trying to get it through any kind of doorway, you've got to break the machine on over onto its back wheels, which puts a lot of weight on your back. And I want to be able to do this for many years. So just looking at some different options that can protect my back and make what I do a little bit easier. So first thing I'm seeing is, is these wheels that are uh, much larger than uh, side dollies I've used in the past. Look like they're going to be uh, rolling a lot easier over um, any kind of surface that I may have to work with. Got straps that are made for down low on here to hold the machine together so I don't lose it. Um, so the dollies don't come off as I go. Looks like we've got hopefully both handles right here and they didn't come out of the box on the, the way for the crank. Yep. Get my handles and instruction manual. See if we can get these sprayed of that. Looks like we're missing one of the bolts for the handle. Have to see if I can't get that replaced in warranty, but it looks like they came with a, a bolt that goes through the handle to hold it on for both of them. And this one uh, came with none. Either it fell out of the packaging when the box got destroyed or it just got missed in the unpacking. So we'll see if we can make this something work for now and figure out something later on to get in contact with the manufacturer and get the right parts here. One thing that I do like about this dolly, uh, I mentioned the, the larger wheels earlier, got this large platform here for the, uh, the machine to be able to slide underneath the edge of the machine. Um, looks like a felt edge right here and rubber bumpers here to keep the machine standing off from the rest of the dolly so you can move it up and down. Uh, simply these roll so you're not going to have to worry about uh, scratching the sides of your vending machine or the, the or any furniture that you might be using. Uh, the crank looks simple. Um, I'm assuming it carries a lot of weight very simply. But it looks like it just moves up and down with normal uh, use, normal screwing. Get you where you want. They also have ratchet straps that go around. Look like there's probably plenty of length in there to get around the machine and uh, make sure that it is secured onto the dolly. One thing I don't like that I'm seeing right now, maybe I can adjust and flip this over, but the way the ratchet strap or the ratchet for the strap is here. It's gonna be very difficult um, to use pressed up against the machine like this. I'd much rather it be turned this direction to work with. And so we'll see if we can flip things around here in a little bit. Yep, this one is put on the same way. So maybe that's a manufacturer's intent, but uh, we'll see if we can make something work a little bit better. Maybe that works well the way it is, we'll see. Looks like these can be removed if they need to be, or get yourself a little more distance uh, away from the, the dolly, or if you've got 
an odd piece, odd shaped piece of furniture that you need to be able to secure a little bit better. It looks like you can adjust these out uh, to take care of that. So I'm gonna try to get the handles put on here, make something work with those, and then we'll put it on a machine and uh, see how easy it is to lift the machine and move it around. Okay, so it looks like my previous fears of worrying about the uh, ratchet on here not holding where I needed it to uh, was unfounded. You can actually flip the strap around very simply. It slides back and forth uh, inside the, the loops that are, are made for it or the brackets that it's made for. So I figured we'd try it with the snack machine since they're definitely much easier to move. I've made a makeshift handle for now until I hear back from the manufacturer if they'll replace uh, the missing bolt so I can have the proper handle. So let's go ahead and hook this up and see if I know what I'm doing here. Looks pretty straightforward. Move the dolly up to the edge of the machine. And then take your straps and wrap them around. I'm gonna go just experimenting a little bit. I'm gonna wrap around the outside of the dolly uh, on one side. See if it doesn't hold up a little bit better for me. Strengthen it up, support it well. It's probably one of those points where I should read the instructions before I start trying anything here, but that's not how we always do things. So I'm thinking we're probably going to want to pull the strap around the side a little bit so it doesn't sit on the machine and scratch any of the paint for us. Same thing on the other side here. thing I'm not loving is how hard it is to get the straps to stay where you want them and that that may just come more with time and experience with it um, wish they were retractable in some way so that they kind of pulled up out of out of the way and get tangled up on anything when you're bring them to the machine to hook them up. All right, got that strap snugged up. Other one's good and snug, so see about how simple it is to lift up the machine. Now this is the side that I don't have the the handle width, I'm just using an uh, old pan head bolt uh, to make it work. This one does have the handle. And we're up off the ground. Let's see how easy it is to move. Maybe a couple of minutes of work, but Looks like it's going to be an easy option for moving vending machines around. It doesn't take a lot of effort. It seems to track for the most part where I want it to go. Moving in a fairly small area, but still gives us a little bit of insight on what she's going to do. And I think it's going to be a good option for me. I like how it stands out away from the machine, so you don't have to worry about scraping it, but you've also got a handhold. I know sometimes moving the machine over some of the thresholds, they're a little bit higher than normal and can be challenging to lift, but I think I've got enough leverage. Eh, maybe a little tough. 
to lift it from here, but maybe with the bigger wheels, it'll go over those thresholds much easier. The wheels are not flipping around exactly the way I want them. It's nearly like this one's locked. There it goes. May make a difference moving it larger over a larger distance. But yeah, I wish, one thing I wish it had was handles that came off of here. Give me some leverage to lift up over larger thresholds, but I, I think I can figure out a way to, to make that work a little bit better. At least give me some kind of grip to get it over. But I, I feel like this may be a great option um, when I'm moving machines by myself through doorways. Um, all in all, I feel like it's going to be a good pur purchase. This machine's not very heavy. It's a little four wide snack machine, so it'll be uh, something simple to move. So we'll try, I'm going to pull out a, a larger soda machine, a more standard size machine, and give it a shot and see how easy it is to lift it and move it around. Okay, I wanted to give this a shot with a little larger, heavier uh, machine, put it to the test. Uh, I, one thing I am noticing that I'm, I'm curious about the life of it, and it may just be a matter of burning these ends, but I suspect after putting these straps through the, the ratchet and taking them back out over time, that these are gonna wear down. Um, eventually gonna have to cut it out and re-burn the ends so that it doesn't fray and, and slide through there. But uh, thankfully these, these are pretty cheap straps that you can buy from uh, just about any, uh, any store around like Harbor Freight or uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, something like that, uh, that we have often. One thing I did see, uh, I didn't see really any videos on anybody using these dollies, but one thing I, I did find was a video saying that uh, if you're not careful that the bottom of this, uh, this lip that's used for lifting, if you crank it down too far, that it will fall out of there. I don't know if they fixed that problem or not, but uh, from what I saw that that is an, an issue that you can find on these. So I'm gonna try a little different way of putting this on and seeing if it'll um, strap up a little easier. Still gonna have to lean it back like you normally would. So the machine so that you can get the lift underneath there of the, the lift for it. I'm going to put it on the inside of the dolly or inside of the dolly this time around and see if that makes a, any kind of difference in getting it together quicker. One thing I really prefer about straps and I guess there's really no easy way of doing it but uh, I really hate taking straps in and out uh, through their through the ratchet over time I just I've never found that to be a simple use of that so looks like once you get your strap set up that you're going to want to keep some tension on it as you pull it around so that it doesn't fall down underneath the machine and simply not do anything useful for what you need it for, but once you get it up where you want it, and snug it up pretty quick. I think the test we're gonna find here is when I try to lean this machine over, if it's gonna lean or if it's gonna try to slide whenever I go to put the lip underneath there. I do like the width of the dolly, making it simple to get through doorways. Yep. That wasn't too bad though. So it looks like you want to get your 
ratchet all put together with the strap in it before you put any tension on there or it all just falls down while you're working on it. Probably doesn't have to be said, but maybe a tip that makes it easier for first time users on it. It is not simple to get that's where you want it. Maybe if you've got a tip on making that easier, that would be, I would appreciate it. I don't know the exact weight on this machine. I would assume 650, maybe 700 pounds, maybe not that much. See how it handles here. <coughs> That's it. It's up off the ground. Looks like it's going to roll pretty simply. Again, just like the other one, the position into the place where you want it, it'll slide it right on in the hole where it's going to sit later on when you get it where you're going. So anyway, that looks pretty simple. I think it's going to be a, a good tool to have. Um, I don't believe that there's anything hydraulic on this dolly. I think it must be a... <coughs> excuse me. A, <coughs> I don't think that there's anything um, hydraulic on this. I think that's just a typo on eBay. Um, I, I messaged the, the seller so maybe they can correct that so somebody doesn't get taken. I know that the, the actual hydraulic version of this is much more expensive, but I don't feel like it's built from what I could see as well as this one is for my purposes. But just wanted to make a video since I didn't see any others on YouTube on what this thing does and uh, maybe it'd be useful for you, helpful in purchasing one of these and using it. Have a good one.